The iPhone 11 Pro is a fantastic phone, so I have the Max version, so the one with the larger display. And I love that phone because it has amazing video capabilities, amazing photo capabilities. And it's just the phone I have with me all the time. Also, of course, based on Apple's ecosystem, where my notes, my music, my videos, everything is in the Apple cloud and difficult to carry over to other phone systems like Android. Here you see video taken on a plane, completely dark outside, fantastic video quality, besides some noise, of course. But what fascinates me most, even after 7 months, is the iPhone 11 Pro's night mode. And some people commented on some of my videos, links below in the info box, that you cannot go up to 30 seconds. I'm going to show this now, I share my thoughts in retrospective and show a lot of samples. Let's get started with the video now. Like any other smartphone camera, the iPhone meters light where you touch and depending on where you touch, you can go up to 30 seconds of exposure. And I'm going to demonstrate this here. Let's take a shot now of 30 seconds. I'm going to accelerate this by video acceleration and then let's have a look at the result. Clearly this is a nice shot. The sky is clean. There is a lot of structure, you see all the details in that scene here. And in general, a very good picture. If we go up to the night sky, you can clearly see the stars, not as rich as with a professional DSLR, but you can recognize here Orion star constellation, so very nice in my opinion. And with a little bit of tweaking in post, you can see even more stars. And on a different location here again, Orion star constellation and lots of stars on the night sky. Taking another 30 second exposure on a different location, a panorama location outside of Zurich, you get images which look almost as if they would be from a professional DSLR or DSLM. So let's look at the result here and uh, let's judge about that image. And I would go even as far as saying that some years ago an image like this would probably not even have been possible with a more professional camera. So that's a very nice picture, nice dynamic range, nice clarity and all in a very nice atmosphere. Here is another image I selected because of the nice color we see in here. Looking at the lights shining through the clouds from the ground of the cities and looking at the horizon. So this is sunrise time here, 7 a.m. in the morning. And I think the dynamic range again, the coloring is here just beautiful. Also in terms of details, the iPhone is quite nice and uh, it has not the rich megapixels you have on professional cameras typically. But here in uh, New York at the One World Trade Center, the so-called Dove, you see actually how much detail the phone is capturing in that scene in the big shopping mall. And uh, you see those tiny little figures or people walking around the ground and uh, the iPhone captures all those details. Here's another picture taken at Battery Park. There is a famous boat house, which is a bar and a restaurant. And the clarity of that picture, again, the sunset here in the background, over the water and also that person walking in front of the building even with let's say some movement fuzziness is just nice and you see here that's Pier A North River so you can even read the engravings on the house. Looking intentionally again at Pier A but this time with some foreground you see lots of details and structure in these plants on the ground and again the details the level of clarity the low noise you see in that image is blowing me away and also here again the colors coming from those lights is just a very good example of what the iPhone is capable of doing in photography. Another image zoomed in here looking from Pier A at Battery Park towards One World Trade Center and you see so much detail. You don't have any noise in that image. You get the structure from the trees, you get the lights from the buildings you get those tiny little people in the foreground and even the yellow cap in the background is nicely captured in that scene. Here are two images from streets in New York City. This is downtown. And I should say, and I conclude the video here, the iPhone never let me down. Whatever I tried to do with that night mode was working. You don't even need the tripod. You just have to keep it sturdy and then it's doing its job. This is, by the way, again, One World Trade Center and even the water in this basin is nicely captured. So all in, I think I'm happy with my iPhone and let's see what the next iteration will bring when it becomes fall of this year. 
If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, show your appreciation for my work. If you like my channel, do not forget to subscribe to stay tuned on my content. Thanks for watching and peace out.